Yeah. Um, very good training session today, and um, everybody came through that really well. Uh, Jack without running, which was a real positive, and while Saturday will come a little bit early for him, I think that the signs are really positive in terms of being available to train fully next week and hopefully be available for South Africa. So that was his first on-pitch session? Not since we got to tours, but it's his first for the last few days, so he's been doing most of his rehab in the gym. Uh, with the physios and today was obviously a very big day for him in terms of getting out and, and running and uh, he ran really well and was really positive and uh, in, a, in a good place afterwards. And what about uh, Dan Sheehan, they, they all They were all integrated fully into training today and all trained, trained fully so that's uh, positive as well. Okay, uh, um, yeah, it's definitely a bit more relaxed, I think, in the, vir in, in the environment. Um, but I think we, we know to deal with pressure a lot better now as a group. Um, but we know, we know how big these, these tournaments are and, you know, we have, we've had a good welcome in tour and, you know, it's been, it's been great, yeah. Do you feel like, as a side, you've ticked off every box along the way to being in 26 wins in your last 28 matches to be successful here in France? Let's know stay on terms. Yeah, we've we've obviously achieved a lot, and we know we, we know when we're on it and we're switched on and we play our game plan. We know we're well capable of of competing and and doing special things. But you know, again, I know it's a cliche, and you've always heard it from us. We we won't be looking past Saturday, but obviously we've did, we've we've touched it, and um, you know something we we are confident in our in our ability. So yeah, we be um, we be looking to hopefully go go deep if 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 we reach our standards. Finally, for me, what are you expecting from Tonga this weekend? Another number of players to come eligible to play for them. Yeah. Something you know pretty well as well. Form has been brilliant, but what are you expecting them to Yeah, you know, it's like it's like all the Iron teams really, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really physical contest. Um, you know, we're gonna have to be switched on in defence. Some really incredible incredibly good athletes. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, I played I've obviously played with, with Mala for a season in, in Munster and know what he can do. I've obviously played against Charles Pieto in his time in Ulster, so we know we have to be on it, or else we'll um, we'll get we'll get punished. Thanks, Gavin. Pete Johnny talked about his great World Cup memories, despite the four final defeats over the last three. What are the memories that jump out from the three to four for you? Um. Yeah, we we've we've had some good wins, you know. You can think about 2011. We've beaten Australia down Needham Park. Um, Beating France in Cardiff, um, you know they are they are special moments. You know you're living with each other for a couple of weeks, and it's 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 different than a Six Nations where you know it's game after game. Um, it, it's all high pressure game. Um, so yeah, we've we've had good, great moments along the line, and I think I suppose we've we're creating good memories off the field as well, which is great. It's something we've we've never had in the past. Was or, you know, our families are, are coming over, which is great. They can experience it all with us as well. How has your role changed in the squad from day one of the young lads? Are you all one of the wise boys now? Are you still mixing it with the young lads in the downtime? Yeah, still mixing it, Mick, aren't I? Yeah. You're a good friend of mine now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh -huh. that's bad. I'm, I'm having more coffees and meetings with Mick than the, with the younger lads, so I suppose that's, that's a bad way. Um, yeah, look, I've, I've, had a, I've had a great pre-season. I've, I've done every session. And the young boys keep me young as well, so it's great. Thanks. Uh, Murray, um, how would you, you perspective on the group, how would you describe the, the confidence or belief in the um, Confidence and belief, I'd say, is very high. Um, and I think that that comes from a number of factors. Um, I think going back to um, when Andy came in after 2019, I think that there was a lot of um, kind of, I suppose, talk about players being themselves and, and um, 
been been happy very much within the environment and having that kind of openness um, and and ability to kind of speak out, ability to very much uh, be themselves and, and work together and ask questions. Um, I think in the early days, you know, there was Andy would say there's there's no such thing as a as a silly question or a bad question, and he doesn't have to say that anymore now because I think players are very open open with each other. I also think that the, um, the, the the staff and the players there's a, there's an incredible connection I think between both both groups um, staff like they're just so kind of I think humble and hardworking and just want to do their best for the team I think which permeates down through the team I think as well the players as well that they they really appreciate it and I think from the player point of view. Um, there, there's, there's no egos, they're incredibly humble. Um, there's an incredible kind of work ethic, I think, between the, the, the staff and the players. Um, the coaching team, just, they, they, they're working you know, so hard to make the players better, which I think in turn builds the confidence and the belief. So I, I don't think it's something that you can, you can build overnight. I think it's something that has been building for the last, um, the last four years, really. And I see now where everybody, I think, is, is comfortable in the system. Um, they, they train hard. Their, their habits are really good. Um, the coaches are drilling good habits into them um, morning, noon and night. And I think the players have really embraced, the, I think, the challenge of, of being the best version of themselves every day. And I think that the, the, the backroom staff, you know, whether it be in nutrition or SNC or medical or operations, I think that they actually really um, step up to the plate, I think, in giving that support and being the best version of themselves every day as well. So um, for me, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a privilege to be involved in, in such a, an incredible environment with genuinely good people all around me. Sorry, Murray, I'm under a bit of pressure and I know Keen and Ed. Sorry, if I'm sorry to put you across. Keen and Ed, and I need to get the guys going. Keen, um, I asked what you thought of Zombie and Blaze. Yeah, it was nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was nice. Um, you know, it just reminds us of, of, of good times, really, whether it's Limerick, Willen, All Ireland, and it was played down in South Africa when we won the URC as well. So. Yeah, it's kind of becoming a, I suppose, a real Irish song, song now rather than a, a Limerick song. I think the Limerick boys definitely set the standard with it, and I suppose we're all jumping on ship now, thankfully, because I suppose we're winning as well. Thanks. I had fun. You just mentioned that you don't think there are any egos in this group. Would that be something that maybe has been an issue in the past? And no, not necessarily. I think I think every group is is different, and I think every Every head coach, I think, brings a different dynamic to a group. And like, like I've been involved back since 2012 under Declan Kidney, and, and then when Joe came in, he brought a different dynamic. I think Declan brought a different dynamic to what Eddie O'Sullivan had brought. So I think it's, it, it's very hard to compare one, one kind of group of players or one management team to another. Um, like, I look back at my kind of four years working with Joe, and... and to me, there was an incredible environment under Joe, and you know, you, you look at when Joe came in in 2013, and, and we won back-to-back -back Six Nations in 14 and 15. We went to South Africa, won a Test match in Cape Town. We beat the All Blacks in Chicago. So, that environment was was an incredible environment as well. But I just think the coaches bring different nuances as they as they come on board and they change things up. And you know, I don't think any you know whether it be a head coach or a CEO, they never do the same as the previous CEO or previous head coach. They like to bring on their own. Uh, uh, mark, I suppose, and their own style of, of coaching and management, and and um, and looking after players and people. So, it's 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 different, but that doesn't say that it's it's better or worse. It's just different.